Yo, what is up guys? It is I, Kid Kid Lou, bringing you a Toontown Corpora Clash discussion video. And today, we're going to be looking at the most recent Corpora Clash backstage posts to try to figure out what they could be possibly hinting at for the 1.3 update. So buckle up, because this analysis is about to get spicy. Moving straight into article number 69, ah ha 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 funny number, I took notice of the following. The truth is, the V1.2.5 update was originally going to be our big V1.3.0 update, but as released through Nier, we felt as though the content was not enough to fully represent what we wanted out of a full major update on this scale. We were worried players would come to this update expecting major endgame content like the overclocked CLO. So this statement alone caught my eye and I was able to deduce one thing out of it. And that is that the team subtly hints that the version 1.2.5 update is actually just a fraction of the version 1.3 update. They were specifically worried that players were expecting major endgame content. And I believe that the in-game content that they are withholding is unfinished and being worked on as we speak. Now what could that in-game content be? We don't really know. Yet. And it gets immediately followed up by... The biggest thing holding back the 1.3.0 has been the massive quantity of creative assets that it has required to complete. This is why... Uh, V1.2.5 has features that revolve around vast amounts of technical work to balance it out. We won't leave you off with nothing though. Here's a remarkable sneak peek of some models for V1.3.0. Okay, so this is the sneak peek that everyone has been talking about recently. Some people have theorized that it is a cog head and that it could potentially be one of the managers of uh, the next upcoming overclocked boss, which was thought to be uh, overclocked CEO, right? So this is a cockhead of a manager and the overclocked CEO fight. But I don't think that is the case, and I will show you why based on the next statement from the Corporate Clash crew themselves. All major Corporate Clash updates have had some sneak peeks rooted in Halloween. For example, Sats the Skelecog was the first cog to show off relatively rudimentary cheats in a battle, which would then be presented in more depth for the witness stand in battle. The 2018 counterclaim was the first cog to have animated suit heads, which would be presented to the entire Lawbot cog line in the version 1.1 update. The 2020 counterclaim had the most complicated battle cheats to date, which would only be superseded by the overclocked CLO. So what do we get out of the statement? Well, based on what they're saying, and historically speaking, every Halloween update has teased, or was a teaser to what's to come next. So now we need to look for what was teased in the most recent Halloween update, and that would give us a hint towards what's in store for the 1.3 update. There are some teasers within the Sads the Skelecog theme. Uh, that whole topic is already covered by Stuck the Duck, so go check out his video uh, for more information regarding that. As for this video, we will be focusing on what I think was the biggest teaser for the 1.3 update, the new street battle system that allows manager cogs to join in. The team literally straight out talks about it so much in the backstage post as well. So what's my final conclusion and what do I think this model is? Well, I think it's going to be a cog manager but not an overclocked CEO one. I think we are going to get a variety of new cock bosses that will be spawning on the streets, similar to Counterclaim, and this head model represents one of them. This is what I believe is waiting for us in the 1.3 update. Think about it this way. The team deems this new street battle system to be big. So there's no way that it was only temporarily used in the Halloween update just to be discarded later on, right? I believe the system will definitely be reused to form some kind of endgame content that the community will be eager to play and enjoy. How are they going to do it? We don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. As always, thanks for watching, Mitchies. 
If this is my first theory video and hope you all enjoyed watching it, if you got any thoughts, feel free to drop them below in the description. See you in the next video, and stay awesome!